What is it that makes us keep watching Yellowstone? The Yellowstone has become a favorite show that gives us a classic insight into the countryside lifestyle. The great extensions of power held by people in public offices, the enjoyment of one's class status, and the supervision of land that the family owns. There is every element present in Yellowstone that satisfied the untamed desires of a being, so Yellowstone only unleashes our inner desires that we may not otherwise be able to realize or live. Episode 4 would be deciding the shift of power. Who would be holding the power, Jamie or Beth? We're seeing too many enemies of the Dutton family, praying upon them. From the new sheriff to Sarah, everyone is hell-bent on making the Dunn family bow, but will they? We're assured about this as the Yellowstone is all about the Duttons and they never lose or bow. So how will the shift of power be only favorable for the Duttons in the upcoming episode? In this video, we're going to talk about how episode 4 may turn tables for the enemies of the Dunn family. Duttons are in great danger. Though nobody can hurt them, they still need to preserve the status quo in their favor. What would be the next episode? What would the next episode give them? What are the landmines for the Governor Dunn? In a few seconds, tease of the newest episode, we hear Governor John saying, I have stepped on a few landmines. The landmines may be referring to the enemies trying to break him down, as attack on Beth is an attack on Governor John. The arrest will only cause his reputation, but the landmines can also refer to the other problems that John is dealing with at the moment, but we believe the landmines have to do with him, his reputation, and Beth waiting for bail behind the bars. We expect the beginning of a battle here. John speaks in the preview of season 5 that the first Dutton to settle in this valley you remember. It was all they knew to fight. It is how they arrived here and how they managed to keep the land afterward. How liberating it must be to feel that free. These days, cowards run the world. Would Jamie be also a landmine for his own family? Beth is waiting in jail while Jamie is talking with Haley, the lady whom Beth assaulted. Jamie asks Beth to pray that Haley does not file the case. It is quite confusing for us here, as Sarah is also conspiring with Jamie. The animosity between Jamie and Beth also makes us ask why. Why Jamie is doing so much for Beth? Will he really get her free? Beth orders Jamie to do his best, but would he really forget his hatred and save his family's honor? As we said, the shift of power is occurring, and we expect the next episode to be revolutionary. Will Will Jamie really follow orders of Beth, or Jamie will do to keep the controlling and dominating Beth inside the bars, and enjoy the temporary of whatever power he may get out of it. Sarah is the character filling Jamie with all the things that would lead him to decide against the family. Their story began in episode 3 and we had to witness Sarah asking Jamie, why are you not the governor? This question must have hit Jamie hard. Sarah's making strenuous efforts to hunt down the Duns, but will Jamie help him? She's hitting Jamie at spots that are yet bleeding, so the previous episode was just a beginning for Sarah and Jamie, or will Jamie put an end to this collusion in the upcoming episode? The shift of power would be favorable to whom? So we will see Dunn settle down in the valley and defeat the landmines and keep their lands forever, so the shift of power would be favorable to Yellowstone? We may see Duttons waging a war against all the landmines, but would they fight Jamie if he caved into Sarah? There are too many questions to answer, and only the next episode can tell us.